Although you might be familiar with checking and writing checks, it can sometimes be difficult to write out the amount correctly. Writing a check with cents may seem confusing, though it is possible to do it easily with just a little practice. Here, we will help you with writing a check with dollars and cents. Let's say you have to write a check worth $9.25. There are two main steps to follow, first, use numbers to write the amount. Enter the numeric amount in the dollar box located on the right-hand side of your check, next to the dollar sign. This will include the dollar amount 9, followed by a decimal point or period. Next, write the cents, 25. In the dollar box, you will end up with 9 period 25. The next step is to write down the amount of the check in words. To do this, enter the dollar amount, write the word, and, then enter the number of cents, you will need to convert the number of cents into a fraction. You might think it is difficult to convert the number of cents into a fraction format, but it's actually quite easy. Write the number of cents and then a slash and then, write the number 100. This is the fractional amount in whole dollars. Let's now look again at the example to get a better understanding of the concept. The word cents are not written. The word cents, which isn't used anywhere, doesn't have to be used when you write a check. Simply enter the number of cents as I explained previously. Be sure to include the word and just before or after you write the total dollar amount. This is a check written for dollars and cents. When writing out an amount, it is best to not use the word and until after you have written the dollar amount. Let's try some other examples. Write a check for $20.95. Next, write a check for $15.03. Next, write a check for $6. You can use either one or two zeros here, but we recommend using two zeros. Alternatively, you may write $6 only. Finally, write a check for 35 cents. Since this is less than $1, we suggest using a zero to make it clear that there are no dollars. Congratulations, you have now learned how to write dollars and cents on a check. Be sure to fill in the other information, including the date and who the check is for, and sign the check once everything is correct.